Hey, how's it going? You're watching Duke TV. This is Adam Bomb. Rock like fuck! This is Pip. When my, my girlfriend kind of left me, I went on the road and we were happy. We were living in the country and everything was fine. And then I, I went on the road. She went to her parents' house and she decided she wasn't coming back. I don't really know why. She also took my dog, little doggy bell. I didn't know what to do. I was so heartbroken and so fucked up. I was probably thinking of jumping off a bridge. But some friends of mine said, oh, just look for another dog. He's been everywhere with me ever since. Welcome to my disaster. And what a kind of fire truck. We are from tonight. Rock like fuck. I've done so much crap in my life. When you write it in a book, you kind of just like shit it out. And you get rid of it. And it really helped me sort of move on with my life. I mean, I feel like I've lived a lot of lives. Like a vampire, people keep dying and I keep living and I look through the same eyes. She's Adam Bomb's daughter. I, she, I think she's cool as fuck. And one day she's gonna own the road. She will take over for me. She plays guitar. She knows everything about rock and roll. And um, I just hope that maybe she'll spend more time with me and not go home, because we are home. It's not very nice sleeping in the van sometimes, eating fast food, but I get to see so many beautiful places, meet so many beautiful people uh, who I wouldn't otherwise, you know, going to small towns and stuff. He'll play like really small villages and people will ask me like, oh, he's so talented. Why is, what is he doing here? Why isn't he at these huge festivals? But I would much rather be in a small village and breaking bread with people, going to their homes and speaking with them than going to a festival and just spending time in a tent. Well, I'm just pleased as a little girl on fucking Valentine's Day. No, it's, it's my band, man. This is Leo. This is Kazi. Angel, devil. <laughs> yeah, that's French, what Polish, American, rock like fuck, international rock band. We play songs that, you know, people know from my albums and, and a few couple of covers. Uh, the same sort of tricks I do with the fire. The, the vibe that it gets off is what's important. And that's something intangible. You just, you feel it, you sense it, but you can't say, oh, this is what's different. It's just, it's a feeling. It's something real. It's almost like magic. When I wrote a lot of these songs when I was his age. So him playing the beat like that, like the drummer that was in TKO, it's beautiful. It brings you right back to that time. And that's what rock and roll is. It doesn't have to be, oh, this guy's been playing for 30 years and he knows his instrument so well. No, you just gotta have a desire to fucking rock and it's 12 notes and three fucking drums, man. Pound it and feel it and that's what we do. When I was a kid, touring my first times in France, I had a French friend named Arnaud Durier, and we used to hang out with his friends, and 
I would just make fun of their accents because they were always a dim me miss good to the concert. I would just make fun of their accents. Um, it's typical American shit. And uh, I decided that I want to write a song in French that was just making fun of, of French words that everybody knew, such as Bon Voyage or Napoleon or Bon Appetit. And uh, I just asked, how do you say suck my dick in French? And uh, sous ma bite. Well, that rhymes with Bon Appetit. Okay. So I basically wrote a song about food and made it about sucking dick. And uh, it turned out to be a hit. And it actually makes sense, believe it or not. It's just one of those mystical things. That's what happens. Have faith. If you have it and you dream it, you can make it. So just keep fucking dreaming, man. I think I'm unknown. I mean, I, I compared to the guys that I know that have become famous, they're like, you know, Bruce Johansson, C.C. DeVille. What the fuck does he do every day? Yeah, he's a big rock star, you know, he'll go and play a summer tour, but they don't really live a rock and roll life. And just because you have a million dollars in the bank doesn't make you rock and roll. I've not wanted to be that sort of you know, 21 year old rock star and never heard from again, like most of them. Rock stardom is a funny thing. You know, you used to be like you'd go see Kiss or Rush or even Van Halen and you'd see them play these arenas and meet them backstage and their lives were so fabulous and they looked like they were having so much fun and they were grown ups. We were kids. Now that world is when they play these big arenas, it's like. It's like going to a football game, you know, it's just a bunch of security and old men and and families and it's, I never thought that was rock and roll. I mean, obviously it's big business, but to me, there's a certain sleaze factor, dirty to rock and roll. And uh, I've never lost that. I'm as dirty as it fucking gets. I'm rock this way when I learn how to bleed. Had to learn the hard way that it's hard to believe. I don't give a fuck, yeah, I'm living the train. The bad things that happen in your life define you and shape you and if you can overcome them, they can make you stronger. You can have bad days and you, and you can have good days. Inspiration comes from many, many different emotions. You have to just mold that, that nitro and glycerin together to make it explosive. And that's what I've been doing. These vagabond shoes I get a lot of advice, but advice is fucking worthless. You know, action. Actions are a lot better than words. Um, most of the guys I know are old and retired. I mean, if I'm 56, the guys that I were working with and playing with are all 20 years above me. So they're practically one foot from the grave. Uh, I speak to David Krebs all the time, but he likes to give me advice, but you know, can he book me on Wacken? He could probably help me get there, but would he? No, people don't like to get their feet wet. It's just the way of the world. I've dealt with it my whole life. And Everything I've got, I've gotten myself. I've earned it. I'm here because I booked this fucking gig. Maybe someday I'll get that stage at Wacken because I am the fucking next Lemmy. There's no one fucking here. I'm the asshole that plays the fucking fruit machine and spends thousands of dollars. Everybody should go, oh gee, Lemmy's playing a fruit machine. Oh my God. Well, it's fucking stupid. Let me tell you, if I can put a thousand dollars in a fucking machine, hoping to fucking win a hundred bucks. Yeah, I've done it more than I'd like to, but people do things to focus on the now and not worry about what's going on in the past or what's going on in your future. That's why you dump money in a machine. People have lots of vices. I got tons. Come with me. I'll take you to hell. I'll meet you there.
Unfortunately, I think my dog is gay. <laughs> or he's bi. I just think he'll fuck anything. He doesn't really care. He's a dog. Yep.